Right yeah, lads, back with another video. I'm just going to show you now exactly how to install ISTD and IMPA to work on the same computer. So, double click on the, the install. Make sure it loads up. It'll flash up with this. This is going to be the one click install. It installs everything. You just put next, next again, next again. Then press yes. Press no on this. Click off the show rear me, click finish. Okay, cool. So as you can see now, you've got your your tools all installed, installed and ready. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to browse to the C and delete the e device folder. Just delete it. So the first thing you want to do is that's good. Right, now what you want to do is go back to the desktop and install the patch e device. Click install, click next, make sure it's a C, click next again, click install, click yes. Cool, click finish. Now what you're going to want to do is basically just click on improving and it's going to come up with some, some text saying that it's going to configure the tool. It's completely normal, don't worry. It'll take a few seconds just to basically extract it the new tool. So while that's doing that you can head over to the ISTD, open that with Win with WinRAR, extract diagonal to the C drive. Just a root of the C, press OK, press yes. See now it's gonna start extracting this there. Right. BMW input is loaded up and it's fully ready to be used, same as all the other programs. You can see we're just extracting the brand new is that I'll show you through. The NCS dummy, fully working. The NCS coding tool, tool 32. And win FKP. The, the only one that's probably not going to work is the BMW coding tool, but this is a really simple fix. All you do is go into the input one click store, get the BMW coding tool. Locate okay, the three files, one, two, three, copy them, load up the coding tool fixed readme, go to my computer, C, Windows, and find System32, which is here, paste them in here, press do this for all current items, let's continue, and copy them over. If you're on 64 bit Windows, click in there, click Ctrl V, let's continue. And copy them all over again. Okay, so the next step you want to do, click on your Windows key and type CMD and run this as an administrator. Press yes. Okay, the folder, copy, reg saver, the first one in the command, the reg svr 32c Windows, then press Ctrl and V, then press enter. And say it's successfully registered. Close this, load up the coding tool, it'll work now. That's the, the easy step to get that working. Check back on this today. It's just distracted some from our files. So while it's doing that, we can click on the SQL English database. We run it. Open it, extract, C, Rain Gold, SQL DBs. I'm just going to extract the English databases to the database. That's going to take a few seconds to do that. 
and the other big one is going to be in here. Okay, so once that one's done, you can open the Uber Megasync Global, open that, C, Wrangle, SQL like databases, press OK, let that one extract at the same time. As you can see, you get into the still extracting. So we'll just kindly wait for this. in here as well will be your license file. To register it in, it's the day when it loads up. Just say I'm not cutting any of this out, I'm doing a full live preview on how to do this. I'm just gonna allow it to happen like this. It's going to take two minutes to do that one, and this one's going to take. It's going to be done soon, that one off file. So, why you like? When you get my download for ISTA, you're going to get yourself the tools folder. Just make sure that you've got all the VCs ready. To be installed, it's going to flash up. Flash yes. You can see now we're just installing all the extra green distributables. Make sure it's stuck alone hundred percent and you need these on the side. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So we're just waiting for this to, to extract to be honest. It's taking a little bit longer than usual but it's quite a big file is um ISTAD so let's see. Just waiting for this guys to finish so we can continue showing you how to do the install. So that's that's this the done now, that's good. So you want to do is when you put your OBD cable, let's plug your OBD cable in. Your BMW equivalent game there you go, just plugged it in now what we want to do is go to my computer browse device manager double click on this com port click port settings, advanced and change it to com port 1 and the latency to one. So one on the latency timer and comport one. Press OK. Press OK again. You should see it right there, COM1. Okay, brilliant. Now what you want to do you want to go to this computer, go to the C drive, edit by us, bin, 
look for OBD. Double click on the configuration setting and make sure it says COM port 1. That's it, you're set up and ready. Your cable is now set up and ready to connect to input and insta. There's a little preview. I will show you right now the input has found the connection. And as you can see, battery on, ignition on. And the next thing we'll have to do is just click on both red files. Click yes. And yes again. That's okay. Double click on that, yes. Yes. Okay. Double click on your license file. Copy it all. Simply move over to the Reagan Hall folder, test the GUI, bin, release, IST GUI, send to the desktop. Okay, that should be ready to launch simply. Right click, run as administrator, press yes. And it should prompt us with a license warning, that's brilliant, press continue, continue again, paste your license in here, press continue, press 1 in your ISIS number, then click finish, press ok, rename your program, whatever you, whatever you like, I call it ISTAD, same again, profit, and then click on your properties, Click on compatibility and then just click on as administrator so you no longer have to keep right clicking. Double click, press yes. Brand new version, just loaded out uh, on the third. There we go. Um, click on your spanner, top right spanner. The vehicle interface, and then click edit by as default. If you're using the KCAM, DCAM cable, you use this setting, or if you're using your ENET cable or ICOM, you use this setting here. And press OK. I'm going to show you inputs loaded up at exactly the same time. Let's see, got them both side by side working. And also check the version that we are running on. Brand new version. It's 4.11.30. Like I said, these programs will be constantly updated, and I will be providing my customers with the best level of updates and care that I can. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.